Hi everyone, it's Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and this afternoon I just want to talk to you quickly about this. So this is the Artist Proof Primaris Intercessor with Bolt Rifle. Uh, so we're going to get this sucker out of the packaging and then uh, what I'm going to do is just talk to you briefly about how cool it is uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home and I'm going to measure his head and I'm going to make a reverse style head with the skull mask and everything so it matches my Primaris uh, Marines that I've done for my own chapter and then uh, I'm going to paint it and I'm going to show you what it looks like in a couple of weeks time. So there we go. So we're going to get this guy out of the packaging and uh, we've got our tool and uh, here we go. We're going to get him out and then we'll have a, a quick look at him. I've seen a few people uh, painting these online already and they look awesome. So I fancy having a go at one myself. So we're going to uh, take him out. The display box is really nice. So if you did want to keep it in the packaging, uh, it looks pretty cool. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. Right then. So what have we got? in the box everything's fastened in we might need the knife again to just cut this packaging so the first impression is it's quite a, a solid gray plastic it looks very similar to the same plastic that the regular space marines are made out of whether it is or not uh, i'm not sure yet plop oh, it's got a bit there let's get that let's get that off I can see a couple of mold lines on here already uh, that might need cleaning up before we start painting. So there's his, there's his bolt rifle, which is uh, mightily impressive, ready to smite the alien. Yep, because we're all big kids at heart. Uh, his backpack, so it's pretty cool. There's a couple of little mold lines down the side here and around the top that might just need cleaning up a little bit. Oh, and a plastic. Um, I don't know how, how to describe that, but there's like a bit of a, a mark there that's obviously from the mould, so that might need a, a little bit of green stuff or something just to file that out. That could be pretty obvious once it's been painted, but on the whole, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Right, let's see if we can get him out. Oh, and there's a base here in the bottom of the pack. Now it's vacuum packed in. Mm. This is like being 13 again and getting like cool. Ooh. Who needs packaging anyway? Uh, it's like every Christmas where there's always more wrapping that stops you getting the, uh, the figure out of the pack. There's uh, just some more plastic in there. get him out there we go oh look at that he's out he's escaped so we'll get rid of that this is this is how good the packaging is like all the good toys that you get at christmas and then we'll just pull his face off there so we can stand him up so he's got he's got two holes in his feet so you can have him stood either way round on there and then however many points of articulation he's got so it's, he can do all sorts of things with his arms is this, is this, how, how do you get his gun into his hand there I don't know I'm not going to force him let's just quickly plug that in how cool is he very very cool let's put this away not stab myself so always be careful with knives so he's uh, he's doing the uh, choppy hand motion, which is indicating the rest of his guys over there. Go over there. You can turn his head. Head only turns side to side. You can't move it. He hasn't got eagle eye action like uh, Action Man used to when I was a kid. Uh, I'm glad they put the skull uh, chest piece on here rather than an eagle one. That's cool. I like that slightly disappointing that you can see these uh, marks in the armpit uh, and the armpit there but not the not the end of the world so I guess there must be a way 
once you once you figure out how you're going to get that into that hand there must be a little bit of flexibility in it so you can get that in there and then he stands holding his gun which is why he's he's begging hands out like that so he gets the thing and I, I understand that there is a way that you can take these apart so you can take all the components off uh, to make it a lot easier for painting uh, or you can just you can just leave it bare grey plastic but I'm going to paint this guy uh, so what uh, how many points of articulation is he supposed to have does it say can't see can't see but he's awesome I wish I had Space Marine toys when I was like like not just Space Marines because obviously I had loads of Space Marines but these you know that's cool how cool is he I'm, I really need to figure out how you get that in there I don't want to break him, but this, this, uh, I don't know. That's one for off camera, I think. But check this guy out. Check out. How cool. How cool is that? I've got a, I've got a, I've got a seven inch tall space marine that I can do. And he can dance. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, so we had a little break uh, and I wrestled it together and we got the uh, bolt gun into the hand. So uh, now we can like point at his guys, go, you, get over there. Because, you know, it's toys, isn't it? So uh, you can make him run. I, I think you could make an awesome little stop motion video or something with some of these, especially the guy with the, uh, so the other ones that are available are the painted Intercessor and the Necron there. So uh, there is an unpainted Necron like this in the works coming out. Uh, unfortunately, uh, independent retailers like us aren't going to be able to sell these as far as I'm aware, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, maybe, who knows, that might come in the future. So. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm not massively enamoured with, if I'm honest, like I mentioned. So the the points of articulation on the backs of the legs and what have you, they're, uh, they're not uh, as concealed as I was kind of hoping that they would be. But, you know, that's okay. I can live with that. Uh, and there's a couple of mould lines that uh, I think could do with a little bit of cleanup. But then if you're going to tackle a painting project of this uh, size, then I guess that's to be expected anyway. If you'd have bought a figure, and they, remember that this is only £25. So if you'd have bought a, uh, a box of Space Marines that have cost you £25, there'd be loads of cleanup work involved, cutting them off the sprue and cleaning all the mold lines off and sticking it together and all the rest of the messing about. Uh, I think for 25 quid, this is like pretty, uh, pretty cool. So I'm gonna take him home. I'm gonna figure out how to get his head off. Uh, we're going to measure it up, we're going to make a, uh, a Reva head that's the same size and we're going to put him on and then he will mirror my uh, regular scale 40k uh, Primaris Intercessors because he'll have the right uh, skull mask head to match the rest of my like Night Lord themed Primaris Space Marines. So uh, join us in the next instalment which we'll splice together with this one and then you'll be able to see what he looks like once he's stuck together and then we'll get him painted and then we'll show you a bit more at the end. So. Uh, I'm well excited about this guy, hope you are too, uh, thanks for watching.